G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo Yoga 7 14 ARP8. And I'm just wanting to see what can be upgraded on this brand new model of laptop. Granted, it's already come configured from Lenovo with 16 gig of RAM and a 512 gig NVMe, or at least that's what I recall. I'm using a T4 screwdriver to get into here. And I'll let you know if any of these screws are different or different lengths. So far, Everything seems to be just the same. As with prior Lenovo's, there's very few screws in here. Which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Good, easy to get into it. Bad that there's less, less bits holding it together, so they're more prone to failure. There you go, the, the three at the back are the same. One, two, three are the same. One, two, three, four are the same. I'm going to try and use a plastic pry tool to get into here. I might just go in this gap down here. It usually works. Okay. Let's get me started. And put another one in. Keep going around it. Go back here. Do this little bit here. I'm not too sure how it's interconnecting. I just feel like there's a little trick to this. It's like it's also got a little latch about here. Don't know if it needs to slide backwards or pull forwards. There we go. I push that backwards. That's gotten me in. So with us inside, let's see what can potentially be changed. We have one battery going along here. Really not that pretty. One massive fan that's here. Big single fan I don't actually mind. Two smaller fans tend to have the bearings fail sooner. Usually a larger fan is a bit more reliable. Next up I want to have a look under here and see what we can see. Ah. So sadly, on the upgrading front, we have very few options. Looking here, we have one of the smaller NVMe drives. I can't quite remember, recall the model number off the top of my head for this one. Looking here, I'm assuming we have RAM soldered under here. With the GPU, or the APU, with the integrated 680M, as this is the Ryzen 7 model. So it does have a bit of graphical grunt, this machine. I'm assuming that's the VRAM up here. Or it may be completely wrong. No, maybe just be the VRMs. So let's say we were wanting to upgrade the NVMe drive in one of these. I'll we'll have to disconnect the battery to begin with, just so you don't accidentally fry anything. And then with that disconnected from here, we go up to the Phillips head screw at the top corner. Undo that. And then from there, we should be able to lift the drive up slightly. And then wiggle it out. So most NVMe drives you purchased online won't be this size. I can't remember what size this one is. I think it's 2280 is this, the regular version. This is half the size. Slice myself somewhere along the line today. I will try and just find that out. So looking online, this is a 2242 sized NVMe drive. So that's the physical length of this one. The vast majority of them are 2280s, which are about nearly double the length. So this is a 2242. To reinstall it, we use the notch here, slide it in, push it down, and use the Phillips head screw to lock it down into position. Goes here, that screws on there. Then from there we reconnect the battery, 
You're either going to have to clone the NVMe drive prior to installing it, or you're going to be doing a fresh reinstall of Windows after the fact. And this should slide down. Also to note, Wi-Fi card is replaceable, very similar to the NVMe drive in how you do it. Disconnect the two antenna cables, flick them up, undo the screw, lifts up, out, new one in. This one being a Wi-Fi 6 card, there's probably really no need to upgrade it right now. Stretch this out like they had it. Go. There we go. Done. Battery reconnected. Also, do note where are we on this one? Yeah. No, never mind. If you, if you do accidentally damage the Type C charger on here, that whole board will need to come out for the port to be replaced. It does look to be relatively strengthened, so hopefully that won't be an issue. And next up from here, once you've got it all back together and you've swapped over your NVMe drive, sadly, as I said, RAM is not upgradable or changeable. And then this should slot in and under. Push down, push it together. Like so. Next up, put those T4 screws back in. Big ones go near the back, near the hinge. Small ones go near the front. And I hope that helps upgrading your NVMe drive in your Yoga 7 14 ARP8. <laughs> I'm gonna finish putting these screws back in and I'll see you guys later. Bye.